Hello guys and welcome to this very simple Dawn and Shopify 2.0 theme. So every theme that you can imagine tutorial. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding a video like you can see here. It's going to have an autoplay feature and it's going to be muted and it's actually incredibly easy to add this banner directly to your homepage. So a lot of people think that you're going to have to go into edit code and do a lot of crazy stuff. But what we're actually going to do instead is we're going to go on settings and we're going to go down to files. This is the first step and you're going to upload file and you're going to choose whichever video you want to upload. Okay. So I've already done this process. So obviously I'm not going to redo it. So once you've got the video on your Shopify backend, you can then copy the link by just clicking copy link here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write that link somewhere. So I'm just going to put it here to keep it safe, keep it secret, keep it safe. So now I have the URL of the video. And what I'm actually going to do now is click on customize here. I'll tell you now, this is the easiest way to do this. I've tried many different ways. This is definitely the easiest. So for now, let's just hide uh, the current um, video and then just click on add section here. And all we want to do is click on custom liquid. This custom liquid is beautiful. It's such a good way to add things to specific pages on Shopify. Let me just quickly say, if you want this video to be on your product page, you can click here and put it on products. You can put it on any page. You can put it on blog, the cart, the checkout, whatever it might be. Okay. But we want it on our banner. We want it as our banner. So let's grab this custom liquid here. I don't know why it's not showing. And we're going to drag it right to the top like this. If it lets me, there we go. Okay. So let's take this directly from here and I'm going to talk about each piece of the code here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do style and style. Okay. Let's do this bit by bit. So open uh, bracket style like that, and then just instantly close the bracket just so that you don't forget. And then click in the middle and click enter twice. I will leave this code in the description as well for anyone that might want to be using it. So style, and then we want to do um, video. Okay. Like this. Oops. I'm just going to copy paste this. Whatever. So we're going to do, I'll talk about each uh, point as we go through like this. So this is the CSS. Okay. The, um, the, the styling of the, uh, of the video. Okay. So what does this mean? It means that the video is going to not take up too much space basically. Cause I put it on height 50% zero margin and I've got it on display block, uh, very specifically. Okay. That's all you need to do in terms of styling. You can make this look a bit nicer if you really want. This isn't necessary, but and then what you want to do is you want to have a video thing here and I'm going to copy this as well. And I'm going to go through each one by one. So video auto play. So this video will actually play as soon as someone opens the page, which is exactly what we want. It will also loop, which means it will go round and round and round. You can delete that if you don't want that. Or you could delete autoplay, for example, if you don't want to autoplay. Another thing you could do is you could write controls here if you want them to be able to pause the video. I don't. I want this to be a very nice, smooth banner. And it's almost like it's not here, if that makes sense, because it's just it's just so smooth, basically. And then click on here again. I'll leave this in the description so you guys can just grab this like fairly easily. Um, you can't write these brackets in the description, though, so I might have to write it on medium or something. The final part of this is the source. Uh, let me actually write this out just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So source equals and then um, what's it called? Whatever that's called speech marks and then grab this link and then close it like that. That should work. And then we need to close the video as well like that. And I need to source equals SRC, I think. So I've just done it slightly wrong. Source SRC equals. Okay. So let's do it like that. Source SRC. There we go. Equals. And then there we go. Perfect. So you can see it's literally that simple guys. And then if I click save here and I click on um, view like this, this will now preview it. You can see that it's actually a little bit slow, which is why a lot of people recommend that you don't do this because 
you can see it's actually really, really slow. Um, it's a really nice effect, but having a 60 megabyte video on your homepage is a little bit stupid. So a few ways around this are obviously you can make it smaller. So you can put 50% width like that. Doesn't look as good, but it is, uh, it'll be much quicker to load. So now if I refresh this, it should be a bit quicker. Doesn't look as good. I know it doesn't look as good. You don't have to tell me it doesn't look as good, but it does load a lot more quickly, which is very, very important. Uh, other things you can change, you can change the height and you can also, as I said before, you can write the word controls here. These are the video um, options. So if I write controls and then press save and then refresh it, you can see that I can now pause, play, pause, play, whatever. I can also unmute it if I wanted. You can do a lot of things with this. The reason I'm making this video is because I wanted a very, very quick and easy video to explain to people how to add videos to their uh, Shopify homepage, specifically Shopify homepage with the autoplay feature. This is a very, very popular thing on websites these days, although personally, I don't, I don't really like it because I'm an SEO and I don't like this, uh, this heavy of an object on my page, but that is just me. So yeah, definitely be careful with adding a really, really big video, okay? Because you, you don't wanna add something that's just gonna completely slow down your website. I think this here is a good alternative. It doesn't, it doesn't look quite as good as I said before, but it does work fairly well. So the last thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm, I wanted to do a speed test, but I just realized that the store is password protected, so I can't actually do a speed test. However, generally speaking, the, the speed of this will be, um, it will be pretty good. It won't be too bad. Okay, yeah, that's it guys. I really, really hope this helps. I hope this um, makes it easier for people to add a video to their homepage on Dawn theme and other Shopify 2.0 videos. I will leave uh, this bit of code in the description, but you cannot write uh, this type of bracket on YouTube. So I may have to leave it on some kind of paste bin or something like that. I'll just say, I'll write like, uh, find the code here and then I'll work out a way to do this. This custom liquid thing is a huge game changer. And remember, like I said before, so let me just quickly show you. Can you copy one of these? No, I'll just do it like that. If I wanted to do this on a product page or for example, on my collection page, so default collection, let's say I actually want this on my default collection. I can do exactly the same thing, custom liquid, paste it here, hit save. And then now if you go on uh, my website and click on a collection, you'll see this. Can you please let me move it? Okay. You'll see this, which is really, really cool. You can put it on any page pretty much. Um, so like if you have a specific product video and you want to put it on a specific product, you click here and you find the product that you want to assign that video to and you put that video. That's really important because auto playing that kind of thing is actually really difficult. So uh, auto playing a video directly on a product page on Shopify was not previously possible. Now it's possible. I hope this helps and peace out.